Crawford Lake, about an hour west of Toronto, is pretty small, but very deep. I had heard about Crawford Lake in the past and, and kind of knew the history of what a special place this is. Preserved in those depths is some of the best evidence of how humans have changed the earth. The thing with Crawford Lake, though, is we get these annual sediments in the bottom of the lake, very much like tree rings. And so we get these couplets of sediment being deposited in the lake on an annual basis. And so we can count back in time those couplets. It's all part of an effort to declare a new geological time period, or epoch, usually marked by some major change, such as the extinction of the dinosaurs. This epoch could be the Anthropocene, an era marked by human activity. A group of scientists that have been advocating for a new epoch presented their case at a conference in Europe. Humankind is not just changing the planet, but destabilizing the Earth system. So what you see in the image out of nine potential sites around the world, it's Crawford Lake that's being proposed as a so-called golden spike, an ideal marker of a new epoch. In those soil layers are traces of plutonium from large-scale nuclear testing in the 1950s, a sign along with carbon emissions of the permanent way humans have transformed the Earth. Now to have this as it's not only significant to us, to Halton region, but across Canada and across the world. You know, I think it's going to really um, make future visits and, and future programming very, very special here at the park. But it's not yet a done deal. The Anthropocene has to pass multiple rounds of voting, and some aren't convinced you can name a new epoch while you're in it. Whatever you try and define in terms of the Anthropocene means it's changing as you go along. And so some would argue that's not what the nomenclature is set up for. Still, it's serving as a sign of our complex imprint on the planet, an exciting role for this little lake in the suburbs. Inayat Singh, CBC News, near Milton, Ontario.